Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Orlando, and today we're gonna to be talking about greedy investors. <laughs> Greedy investors, guys. As you know, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I have been preaching and telling you guys, do not overpay for homes. Please do not overpay for homes. Please do not pay overpay for homes. Don't overpay. Don't overpay. Don't overpay, right? I would keep saying this over and over and over until I got it through you guys' head. Do not overpay. So, now we have some data <laughs> to back up what I'm talking about and talking about how investors, guys, investors, what I'm trying to get you to do, invest in real estate, what I do, investing in real estate and how investors are beating out, listen, beating out regular priced homes that are overpriced or even the median price. So that means that investors, Hmm, are buying real estate at below value and at a record pace this year when values of home have been skyrocketing. <laughs> but how are they doing that? Hmm, well, let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. This is the information, guys. This is the gold, the type of information that you need to arm yourself with when you're trying to purchase a home for personal use or investment, right? We need this type of information. So let's jump right into this, okay? It says investors are buying more, but spending less. Buying more, but spending less. <laughs> Uh, I love I love stuff like this. I love stuff like this. Okay, it says real estate investors are buying more properties but paying less for them, according to a report from Realty Track released Thursday from Adam Data Solutions Home Sales Data. In the second quarter of 2021, investor purchases accounted for 15.4% of all home purchases nationwide, compared to 11.5% of all home purchases a year prior. Despite such a large year-over-year -year change, it is still slightly lower than Q1 2021 in which investors held 15.9% of the market, guys. <laughs> so what is that saying? That is saying that last year we held 11.5% of all home purchases as far as investor goes. But now we're at a point where we at what? 15.9% of the market. So what is that saying? That's saying that investors are pushing and pushing and purchasing more properties, right? Purchasing more properties, guys, in a market that we are quote unquote saying, do not buy, do not buy. We can't find homes. Where are all of these investors finding their deals? You know, how are investors finding deals in a ridiculously high market that everybody is just, you know, saying that it's impossible to find deals. Well, we're gonna get into that, okay? Then it says, historically, investors have always accounted from somewhere between 10% and 15% of residential home purchases, and our data shows that this is still the case today, but he says, the data doesn't support that Wall Street is buying up Main Street theme. That's been a popular theory for the past year or so. So they're saying that the theory that all of these, you know, big companies like Zip Zillow and BlackRock are coming in and buying up all of the property more than regular investors like me and you, that theory, they're, they're debunking it. They're saying that that's not the case. That is not the case. And I think that a lot of investors, I mean, a lot of people who want to get into real estate and become investors believe that they can't get into investing because they believe that BlackRock and Zillow are taking up all of the inventory. And not only that, that you can't find deals in this market, guys. And I'm here to tell you that is not the case. <laughs> I mean, if you watch a video that I just did a while ago, maybe about two, three months ago, where I bought a 16 unit apartment building, can you tell me that that wasn't a fantastic deal? How did I buy that deal if it was such a bad market to purchase? No, you have to hustle. You have to go out here 
and find these deals, guys. It is possible. You just have to look. If you are going to expect things to pop up on your radar from Zillow or you just get a notification and it's a million dollar deal or a deal that has $100,000 worth of equity, it just sitting in your email box, I'm here to tell you that that's not gonna happen. <laughs> That's not going to happen, but let's continue on. And then it goes on to say, by state, the share of investor purchases among all home sales increased year over year, Q2 2021 in all states and Washington, D.C., except for Alaska, Louisiana, Maryland, Nebraska, Vermont, West Virginia, states where investors held the largest share of the market, including New Hampshire, Delaware, Georgia, Arizona, Mississippi. And then it also goes on to say that on the other side, the states with the lowest level of investor shares were Oregon, West Virginia, Wyoming, Washington, and Iowa. Now, once again, guys, it is all based on your location, right? But here is one thing that I just wanna test you on. Just because even in this data, it's saying that, you know, there are some areas that had a high market share and some that had a lower market share. But let me test you on this. I can almost guarantee you there aren't that many individuals that are going out there looking for off market deals like you should be doing right now. If you are looking for off market deals, you are in a small community of people doing it. I can promise you that. Even in, you're not doing what everyone else is doing, which is just looking at their phone. Yep, uh, an email came in. I guess this is on the market. That's what most people are doing. And that's where you're missing the opportunity. But let's just go ahead and continue on with this article here. It says, in addition to occupying a large share of the market, the data shows that investors across the country paid on an average of 29.4% less than consumers in the second quarter of 2021. Almost 30%, guys. Less. <laughs> Let me continue. With the median purchase price of $205,000 for investors compared to $290,230 for home purchases. Guys, look at this information. Investors paid $205,000, right? Compared to $290,000. What is that? $85,000 difference? How are investors doing this, guys? Huh? <laughs> How are investors? Because investors are out looking for deals and you're looking on MLS and Zillow, guys. So that is unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. And then it says here, in all five markets, Vermont, California, Massachusetts, Washington, Nevada, investors paid less than the state median sale price. Investors saw the largest purchase discount in the second quarter in Arkansas. But like guys, I, 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 my mind is boggling when I'm seeing these numbers, okay? Let's, let's go at it. Arkansas, 76.9% discount. Almost an 80% discount in Arkansas? Michigan, 60% discount. Louisiana, 55.5% discount. Nebraska, 55% discount. West Virginia, 51% discount. Come on. <laughs> Guys, come on. You, you're living in these markets. What, if you're living in these markets and I'm giving you this information and you don't take this information and do something with it, me and you, come on, come on, guys. You're getting the goods here. You're getting the goods, okay? You're getting that big of a discount and you know the market is going to skyrocket back. It's gonna cycle around. And if you're not buying properties at a huge discount, Arkansas, come on, 80%, that's doggone near free. <laughs> free real estate. And if you ain't buying in Arkansas, if you're in Arkansas and you're not buying, come on, come on, man. Lil Rock, come on. Man, listen, I know, I know, guys. Listen, I get excited about stuff like this because I love real estate. And to see that people are having opportunities like this to get into real estate, it makes me really happy that you can get this big of a discount and jump into real estate. So it goes on to say, another misconception is investors are overpaying for properties, making it difficult for consumers to compete and artificially driving up prices. And then he says, but successful investors tend to look for below market pricing in order to make a profit on their purchase. And many of them buy properties with cash, which gives them a chance to get the property at a discount. Mm, mm, mm. Listen guys, 
Listen, this is the way to do it. This is way now you may not have the cash. I get that portion. You may not have the cash, but you do have the opportunity and you do have the time to make a shot at these type of properties. But this whole situation of people believing that, oh, we, you know, investors are stopping the regular people from buying homes and blocking this, that, that that's nonsense because most of those guys aren't even looking at those high overpriced deals that you're looking at. They're speaking to the, you know, mom and dad or mom and pops that don't want to deal with the realtor and will sell to you for that 60% discount. They want to pocket that realtor commission rather than going through all that selling and fees and whatnot. So the rest of the article says in the Q2 2021, 79% of all investor purchases were cash sales compared to 69% prior year. In total, cash purchases accounted for more than 50% of all investor purchases in all states, including DC, except for Alaska in the second quarter of 2021 and a year ago, 10 states below the 50% cash purchase threshold. So basically what they're saying on this one is that a lot of those purchases were done, you know, through cash sales and whatnot. But here's the beautiful part. I know you guys are hearing that and being like, I don't have the cash, but here's the beautiful part. The other 50% weren't. <laughs> here's the thing. You don't look at Oh, I, what I don't have. Look at the ways that you can get the deals done. And think about, like I just said, 50% were done with cash, but the other 50% were not done with cash. They had financing. So that gives you that other 50% to actually put in that low down payment and get those deals done. I'm telling you guys, you better get out here. Get out here. Hey, if you don't buy the deals, I will. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm doing it anyway, right? Regardless of making these videos or not, I'm doing it. So once again, guys, I hope you got value out of this content. I need you to watch this next video here. It will help you get into your first rental property and learn so much more about real estate. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.